Hello and welcome to Policy and Politics with me Tarun Nangia. Interim Finance Minister Piyush Goel scored a goal last week when he announced GST rate cuts on a number of items. To discuss this issue, we have with us Gopal Krishna Agarwal. He is National Spokesperson Economic Affairs of the Bharatiya Janata Party. He is also a Director on the Board of Bank of Baroda, a qualified Chartered Accountant. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, thank you so much for sparing your time for this episode of Policy and Politics. Namaskar. So, uh, we will start from the start. A wide range of GST cuts announced by the Finance Minister. What was the intention behind these slew of measures? Ultimately, what the uh, Finance Minister has also said in his press conference, that the tax buoyancy that we are seeing with the higher compliances gives the room for the government to cut down on the indirect taxes. Ultimately, the government uh, had this target of uh, doing away with the highest tax slab of 28%. And that's what Piyush Goel, Mr. Piyush Goel has done in this 28th meeting of the GST Council. The, he has gone for a large scale reduction in the tax slabs from the uh, slab of 28%. And now only 33, 34 items have been left under the highest tax slab, which are considered to be luxury items, which are considered to be seen items. Most of the items have seen a drastic reduction in the tax rate so from 28 to 18 so percent and then there are changes from 18 to 12, 12 so to So now 30. I see prices of many items will come down. Uh, sanitary napkins which are used by women, girls, uh, elders and even kids, the, it has been waived off. There is no GST on that. So you have completely waived off uh, the GST on sanitary napkins. There is a clear-cut philosophy on this GST reduction. One thing is that the government wanted there should be a demand push in the economy. Last year, before this, government had done a lot of investment in the form of um, uh, infrastructure, uh, constructions, road construction, infrastructure development. Many of the PSUs had taken mega project. That was giving a push to, through the investment cycle, uh, recycling that catalyzing the economic growth. Now the government wanted to generate demand in the economy through the reduction in cost. So this will give more leg room for the people for their budget. Uh, product will be available cheaper. One thing is that majority of consumer durables, consumer products are being reduced. And second are the category which you have mentioned are with regard to this reduction in the uh, items napkins. which are essential like sanitary napkins, which are for the uh, welfare uh, the items which are for the common man. That's also being done at this level. Even the, on the agriculture sector, there, uh, we see so, uh, so many uh, benefits with regard to services sector. So it is across the segment. So sanitary napkins, you have completely waived off the GSDs. There is 0% GST now. Uh, but now let's come to paints and varnishes. Everybody paints their homes once in three or four years. You have brought down the GST from 28% to 18%. Uh, with what motive uh, was the this GST uh, reduced from 28 to 18? No, not only this paint and varnishes. There are many uh, items like washing machine. We'll come to that. But we'll, we'll go one so, by one. Yes. So uh, it is not. Uh, it is the construction industry will also focus uh, give employment to the people. There is a focus on employment generation also. Now GST will be used as a vehicle for creating economic activity, industrial activity, construction activity, those sectors which can, which have the potential of giving large scale employment have also been uh, given a benefit in, under this reform. So all this construction industry will see uh, reform. So that's and why some of the items which were left, which were uh, over the period were also, uh, there was a demand from the people that they also should be reduced. That also has been Okay. Done. So paints uh, and varnishes have been brought down. Now I'll get to refrigerators, coolers, water coolers, milk coolers and ice cream freezers. So these are generally used in cooling in all homes and shops. Uh, GST on that has been brought down to 18%. So these all items, as I mentioned, refrigerators, coolers, water coolers, milk coolers, ice cream freezers will get cheaper. Yes, washing machines, vacuum cleaners. Yes. So daily con uh, uh, goods which are required for day-to-day -day consumption in the common household, common man, the, all the items, government's target is that they are uh, uh, taxed at a reduced rate so that they become cheaper and uh, there is uh, more demand, more consumption. Now the, 
there is a push from the demand so side also. So government is banking that when these products becomes cheaper, more and more people will buy these yes, products. Yes, there will be higher demand for these products and it will create demand in the economy and it will pu uh, uh, create a, uh, a push on the demand side from the industries also. So now, now uh, like refrigerators, we'll come to another consumer durables which is uh, washing machines. Now, India is a country where you see a lot of poor people moving up to the mid lower middle class and the middle class and aspiration comes and they buy their first washing machine. Of course, there are so many. That's how washing machine sales are growing up in India yes. year on year. Yes. You again brought down GST on that from 28% to 18%. Yes. They are, they, this is an important, as I have mentioned, they, so many items with regard to domestic electrical appliances also have been reduced. So, uh, washing machines, refrigerator, uh, common daily use items, uh, this uh, electric appliances, all kind of juicers, everything, uh, hair clippers, yes. then fo food grinders, yes, mixers, yes. We'll to three that across the, all the segments on a daily use, most of the items are being brought from 28 to 18% and only now 33 items are left in 28 percent. Ultimately, what the government, Modi government had promised, that we will do away with the 28 percent slab and maximum slab will be around 16 to 18 percent. So there will be no 28 percent slab after maybe one year or one and a half years? It'll be I think it is the way at the rate which, which uh, government is bringing down the indirect tax uh, rates in itself, in itself will show that uh, to, uh, it will not even take one year to do away with the 28%. Okay. So as we see Mr. Gokal Agarwal is sharing with us that the government will completely do away with 28% tax slab. As we see in all these items, government has, uh, as Piyush Goel announced that your uh, taxes have been brought down from 28% to 18%. So full 10% reduction in taxes. Now moving ahead, uh, lithium ion batteries. These are used in mobile phone manufacturers. All mobiles have lithium ion batteries. Uh, Again, tax on that has been brought down from 28% to 18%. So, you see prices of mobile phones also marginally coming down? Uh, yes, because I think we should all welcome Mr. Piyush Goel's effort yes. that he has used the tax buoyancy in indirect tax collection. In April, we saw a tax under GS, tax collection under GST to the tune of 1 crore, one lakh 6,000 crores and average is around 90,000 crores per month. That shows that the tax compliance is under GST has increased. There is more transparency, better compliance, there is ease of doing business. And therefore, using that leverage in his hand, he has been able to uh, do, uh, redu uh, do reduction in the taxes. That's very important. And the total loss of to the exchequer is around, as has been mentioned by some people, it's around 10,000 10, crores, which will uh, the, the government expect that with more compliances, you mean it will compliances automatically... Compliances and demand going up? Yeah, the uh, no, compliances uh, will uh, benefit the revenue loss to the, uh, neutralize the revenue loss to the government and at the same time create demand in the industry so that more private investment into this uh, manufacturing of these day-to-day uh, -day uses, appliances, products, etc. are increased. So this is a very good initiative. I think the GST is itself now established. Uh, in addition to tax rate, there are other reforms also which has been uh, implemented under the 28th Council with regard to Sahaj and Saral, uh, uh, this uh, forms, uh, returns, so they returns are is easier now? B2B and B2C, they have been segregated into Sahaj and Saral forms which are now online with drop down facility in addition to the requirement with quarterly returns has been done away for up to turnover of 5 crores. So even up to 5 crores no need to file uh, monthly uh, returns. No. So they, they have, uh, government has given them a, a requirement of, qu of filing quarterly returns that's a big uh, help for the ease of doing business. So small businessmen will be helped. And in the composition scheme also, uh, uh, this uh, current uh, finance minister has been uh, GST council has uh, increased the turnover limit from 1.5 crore to 5 crores yes. so that they can take the uh, benefit of composition scheme without the compliance of so many uh, formalities under the GST. A common manufacturer or trader etc. having a turnover of up to 5 crore can take the benefit of uh, uh, the GST composition scheme, so which was earlier only up to 1.5 crores. I have a question in my mind. Uh, when you increased it from 1.5 crores to 5 crores, there are a lot of businesses. 
in which margins are lower but volumes are very high so you may be doing a turnover of 50 crores but your margins are very low will government in future you think even consider uh, getting them into this uh, quarterly filing uh, will they allow them do you think that is possible no but uh, five, from 1.5 crore to increasing the uh, level to 5 crore in itself is a huge and it will cover 93% of the total tax payers under you mean 93% of business yes, are covered uh, they, in they only will this have much? to now required only to pay uh, file returns quarterly so even only 7% is the top level they, i don't think it, they have a big problem in compliance etc but 93% of the total uh, persons registered under GST now have to file a quarterly return in place so of... So you address monthly. majority of the filers? Yes, majority. It's a big step in the ease of doing business. Okay, now we'll move ahead. Vacuum cleaners. Uh, India is a dusty country, as we all know. Vacuum cleaners are needed in shops as well as houses. GST has come down from 28 to 18 percent. Yes. And you also see there are a lot many items which have been brought from 28 to 12 percent also. Yes. Fuel cell vehicles, new... new no, no, that no. is another area yes. that I want to share. Fuel yes. cell is a technology of the future. Huh. And may, maybe we'll have fuel cell cars running on the roads in the next two, three years. Yes. With what intention has the government reduced, uh, done away with, in fact, uh, the... Uh, I think it's come down to 12 percent? Yes, from 28 to 12 percent. So that's a huge, yes. less than half now. Yes. So and because the government want to promote this uh, vehicles which are fuel efficient and then electric batteries also. You talked of lithium. The, that's one important but because it's only using cars industry. also. No? Yes. Lithium because and mobile, batteries. Are... Yes, mobile industry is a big industry which is seeing a boom in the country. There were a lot, before this four years, there were only four factories which were manufacturing mobile. Now you see. No, but I am I am reminded now that lithium ion batteries are also used in car manufacturing. Yes, definitely. Oh, this, or electric vehicles. Yeah, all electric vehicles and even uh, the, there has been reduction in the ethanol. The rate of GST and ethanol has also been reduced, so that uh, the their, uh, the uh, oil industry and the industry which is uh, uh, pollution or green uh, uh, industries which use uh, mixing of ethanol into petroleum process. Uh, product also this will also be benefited so there is a better uh, clean energy is also and one of the objective of so, so uh, um, meeting specifically uh, uh, concentrating on the automobile sector so we have two things lithium ion which benefits both electric vehicles and mobiles 10% uh, reduction in duty uh, the GST rate also on fuel cell so they are addressing the uh, automobile market by automobile this. mobile industry which are seeing a big boom in the uh, manufacturing Country. sector make yes. in India is lot of make in India project are dependent on mobile manufacturing. Yes. You see in Noida there is a big factory of uh, Samsung which, which was inaugurated by the Prime Minister and the um, uh, President of the uh, Korea. So they, they are it is largest manufacturing facility across the world. So huge growth in the manufacturing of mobiles, electric vehicles, then fuel efficient cars and even energy better green energy consuming vehicles are being introduced. So this discussion gets pretty interesting. There are a huge number of more products on which government has reduced GST. Piyush Goel announced it recently. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Just before the break, we had Gopal Agarwal explaining to us the rationale behind reduction of duties on a huge number of products related which common people use like paints, uh, water coolers, refrigerators, fuel cell uh, for you know making vehicle manufacturing cheaper, uh, batteries, lithium ion batteries which are used in mobile manufacture as well as electric vehicle which are now going to hit the market very soon. We'll, we'll talk ahead about the other uh, products on which GST has been reduced. Uh, now I'll see very, very small things but almost found in every home. You'll find a food grinder in every home, a mixer is there in every home. Fruit and vegetable juice extractor we can see in some homes and the use is now growing. Shavers, uh, automatic shavers, uh, uh, urban people of course now use it. Uh, then you've got hair clippers which people own. Uh, you know these all are going to get cheaper from 28 to 18 percent. So government has gone into minority of things used by people on a daily basis? Yes, it, they are looking into the common uh, use product which are, will, uh, which are used in a day-to-day -day basis by a middle class. The, India is a huge population middle class. Yes. So their uh, consumption uh, will be benefited, their budget will be benefited, a tech uh, 
reduction of 10 to uh, some uh, items 10 percent, some items it is around 16 percent because from 28 to 12 percent has also been, uh, b b some of the items have been brought into this. Another very important area is that handicrafts uh, area, uh, have been, a uh, lot of tax has been re reduced from, uh, on the handicraft eight items from 18 to some have brought into 12, some have been brought into 5 and some are even nil. So this will create a big employment so opportunity from it is small industries. On carpets, yes. uh, GST has been brought down to 5 percent? Yes. The, the and there are stone, marble, uh, this man, uh, handicrafts items with rakhi. Uh, you mentioned sanitary napkins, coir uh, mats, so etc. Carpet making is carpets yes, are carpet for biggest and exports. And this, yes, abroad. and uh, all the uh, very many items like this are uh, in the which are manufactured so we see in carpets the carpets coming down to five percent, and carpets are one of the biggest exports from India. India Even exports coir is also being reduced coir, from coir. eighteen to. 12 percent so to 5 percent. Coir mattresses. Yes. Uh, now, now we'll go ahead. Coir mattresses come down. Carpets, which India exports on a loss. Kashmir makes a lot of carpets. Uttar Pradesh makes. A lot of other states also make some carpets. Huh. Uh, but there are now some other products. Uh, daily use products. Storage water heaters. Immersion heaters, which is used to, you know, take bot yes. uh, heat bottle for bathing. Yes. Hair dryers. Yes. Hand dryers. Electric smoothing irons, which ladies, yes. a, a lot of women do use that. Huh. GST reduce again from 28 to 18 percent. Yes. So again, we see these consumer durables, which are you know used by middle class or daily high use items, daily use items. Yes. These are coming down. So a lot of it will help in the uh, women's uh, household budget but, but a lot. As somebody who is the economic wing uh, for the BJP, uh, sir, could you explain to me? Do you see demand actually going up with this kind of reduction demand for these products? I think uh, you yes, yes because uh, ultimately this tax reduction has to be passed on to the consumer as the anti profiteering clause says that any reduction in tax under gst the manufacturers have to pass it on to the consumer ultimately it is the consumer which has to pay the tax whatever is the rate so the reduction of almost one third uh, in the tax slabs on these so many items which you have mentioned and there is a list it, you can go on and on there is so such a large list of items which have been uh, seen a reduction in taxes so ultimately these there will be a price reduction to almost to the tune of 7 to 8 percent on these items no, no, we because are tax component is a very high component in many of the some yes, of because the items. if you're talking of items which cost you know one lakh or two lakh, your ten percent reduction is a ten thousand yes, rupee reduction. Amount, yes, that's a huge reduction. Now coming ahead, uh, other items, cranes which are used in construction, uh, infrastructure, roads, lorries, huh. firefighting vehicles, yes, concrete mixers which are used in construction of buildings also, huh. spraying rollies, they huh. all get cheaper. Yes. 28 to 18 percent. Even television is there up to the size of 20, 68 percent television has been brought. Television under, is also yes, now less. From 28 to 18 percent. So even TVs will get cheaper. Yes, up to 68 uh, centimeter. Okay, okay. And so, even as you mentioned large, that is uh, work trucks, trailers, semi-trailers, all these special purpose vehicles, crane lorries that you are firefighting vehicle. So you see across industries, across product, across uh, segments. But, but since these are expensive products, we'll see reduction in price of cranes and trailers uh, for a couple of lakh rupees at least. You know? Yes, definitely. So, Each uh, at least you you get an item for 20 to 25 lakhs. A uh, 10 uh, 28 percent reduction on tax on them. 10 percent reduction is a huge amount. Huge of, amount. Now we'll move ahead. Uh, items used by women as well as household items, scents. Uh, Toilet, toilet sprays, uh, powder puffs, pads which are used for application of cosmetics. Yes. Uh, they all are getting cheaper from uh, 18 to 18 percent from 28. So I think this all comes down. No, even uh, this any, so many items are uh, are uh, uh, being shifted from 18 to 12 percent to 5 and nil also. Uh, like uh, this hand loom dari, uh, knitted uh, uh, other uh, uh, top uh, cap etc. Bamboo flooring, coir uh, mattresses. Then uh, sanitary napkin you have uh, called, then uh, various rakhi, etc. All these items, so what brass, are, kerosene, pressure stove for the common man. Pressure they, stove is also yes, from, that has been brought down from 18 to 12 percent. Okay. Pressure okay. stove, hand operated rubber roller, uh, 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 zip and slide fasteners in the clothes. Interesting item in the list I saw. Hmm. Bamboo flooring is being reduced tax. 
from 18% to 12%. India grows a lot of bamboo in the northeast. Yes, yes. Northeast bamboo is one of the major production. Yes. Do you see any intention of the government to promote northeast in this? In addition, yes, definitely bamboo. Earlier, government had brought the uh, shifted the bamboo from the uh, uh, trees to the category of grass, so yes. that there can be a, a better commercial use of the bamboo sh uh, shoots, bamboo trees, which is uh, uh, very beneficial to the northeast. In addition, here bamboo flooring. Uh, there is a reduction in GST and another important change that the GST council has made in this is that uh, uh, the turnover from uh, uh, the uh, this uh, tax uh, GST exemption uh, was given earlier across the nation to up to turnover 10 lakh for northeast it has been made to 20 lakhs so the, they are exempted from under from the and GST bamboo will benefit them you think? yes in addition to that any turnover up to 20 lakhs they are exempt under from the GST so some 10 lakh to 20 lakh okay. it's a huge jump of turnover so, so we said bamboo that, focused on northeast because bamboo is generally grown in northeast now coming ahead footwear we yes. see that uh, GST uh, only 5% GST will now be levied on footwear which are sold up to 1000 rupees per yes. pair. Yes. So uh, again common man in mind? If, uh, earlier it was up to 500 that the government has increased that so, limit from 500 so 1, to 1000. 1, yes. So 5% cool. GST up to uh, 1, footwear of 1000 from 18% reduction to 5% which huge means amount. Which footwear prices will come yes. down with some good margin. Yes. To common man it will be a big relief. Uh, that's an important uh, change. Then even handbags, all these things have been brought from 18 to 12 percent. Okay. Handbags, including pouches, purses, wooden frames for painting, artware, stone artware, ornamental frame. This mirrors. aluminium arts, aluminium uh, uh, blocks will also come yes, cheaper. Yes, glass right? artware, uh, iron artware, handicrafted lamps. All so you think a huge focus on handicrafts which are made yes, in India, handicrafts because we see handicraft, a lot of handicrafts will now attract only 12%, earlier it was 18%, yes. so it will help the handicraft industry. Manufacturing, because we see a lot of industry developing in India based on, which have the, uh, which are based on handicrafts and cottage industries, all these items right. uh, have been reduced, uh, taxes on them as well. No, no, we'll, we'll get to 18 something, to 12%. we are seeing now in milk, government has clarified hmm. that milk which is enriched with vitamins and minerals, we hmm. get a lot of fortified milk which it is called, uh, is now exempt from GST. They have clarified that it yes. attracts no GST. Yes. So, I mean, uh, the industry was confused, hmm. uh, but now they are, you know, they, 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 so now even water which is supplied for public purposes uh, does not attract GST. Yes, a lot of services, there has been change on the uh, rate of services also. Lo uh, many services have been exempted which were earlier attracting service tax. Were so many issues with regard to uh, supply of electricity, many uh, services like insurance premium uh, provided under the Ayushman uh, scheme of the government, Modi yes. care, yes. that has been exempted and from the GST. So, s service industry also uh, uh, is benefited out so of this So, what change. are you seeing? Are you seeing that uh, GST was introduced, but it is actually showing its real results now, when the government is able to now reduce rates easily. I mean, they are, they are able to take these decisions. I think it, that was the important objective when the government said and announced that we want to implement GST so that there is a better compliance on one side, there is higher tax revenue to the government and there is ease of doing business for the common man, compliances are reduced and ultimately indirect taxes rate which was averaging between 25 to 30 percent under uh, the previous government. The objective of the government was to the consumers, the average rate should be around 16 to 18 percent so that there is a redu huge reduction in indirect taxes from 25 to 30 percent to uh, if 16 to 18 percent and uh, uh, that is across input tax credit is another benefit for the industry. Many industries they have streamlined like in hotel industry they have clarified that the uh, uh, service tax on the room rent will be applicable based on actual billing not on whatever so is the say, stated uh, just prices. Just for the common hotelier to understand if he advertises 7000 per uh, rupees per room and if he gives at 5,000 rupees, then... The actual the, billing uh, so rate will, will be applicable based on actual billing. So nothing we yes. advertise. The advertisement yes. doesn't count. No. The billing will yes. count. Uh, yes. The, that's an important clarification. And there are so many clarifications with regard to uh, input tax credit also. The government has tried to clarify or uh, simplify those procedures where the, some people were not getting proper 
input tax credit that they have benefited and ultimately there are as the uh, press release mentions that government has tried to uh, streamline the whole GST structure into agriculture, farming and food industry. Lot of ref uh, reforms or reduction is done in this segment which is 60% uh, of our population is uh, dependent on uh, no, these no, items. Moving and, ahead, yes. I will read out a list to you in which GST has been totally waived off. So, zero GST. Yes. There is zero GST on stone, marble and wood deities. Yes. So, all uh, what you can say God. Uh, uh, architecture, hmm. uh, all, 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 all. I think the deities which are there, they will attract no uh, uh, GST at all. Yes. Rakhi is something uh, which will attract zero GST. Huh. Huh. Sanitary napkins, of course, we discussed. Yes. Coir, uh, uh, pith compost. Yes. Uh, sal leaves. Hmm. Uh, sal leaves is what the tribals uh, yes. uh, use. I yeah. mean, they sell. Huh. Then pool bari jadu, which yeah. is a raw material for uh, uh, mops. Yes. Uh, not mops. I think it is. Uh, sweeping. Uh, for sweeping, yes. that's a raw material. Then Khali Dona, which is a traditional uh, thali used mainly yes. now in villages also, yes. we see in a lot the, of... Uh, most of the functions, uh, temples, everything, mass uh, food uh, functions, everything, people in India use a lot Dona of Dona. Thali, which is made out yes. of leaves. Yes. So, uh, we are seeing that government getting sensitive towards people's needs in that case because there must have been a demand also from the people that you know these need not attract. Ultimately, government is very proactive. If you see, there are around 900 amendments under the GST in 28 meetings. Yes. GST Council, this is the 28th meeting within a short span of one year. Yeah, 28 meetings. This is the 28th meeting. When Mr. Arun Jaitley for the finance minister came out with the GST, he said that we will be very proactive. We will listen to any uh, suggestion changes or any problems of the industry or common man and immediately try to rectify. And as the Prime Minister has said that the GST is a big example in cooperative federalism. Everybody is so since proactively you, for the cause of, of the... cooperative federalism, uh, we have discussed enough about today's thing, but there are two agendas, which, which are unfinished agendas. The first being inclusion of petroleum products under GST and also inclusion of liquor uh, under GST. I think this will be the greatest example of cooperative federalism because what are we gather that a lot of states are still not uh, agreeing to this uh, proposal and the state should agree for you to do it. Yes, I think uh, if even uh, GST, uh, this petroleum product, technically it is under the GST, but notification with yes. regard to rates is not there. But the government has been wise and enough to bring already the, the petroleum product into the GST net. That's one thing. Liquor is a very complicated issue because a lot of revenue of the state yes. government yes. Uh, depends on the liquor product. Okay. That's a complicated okay. issue at present. But I think if petroleum will definitely come under the GST okay. council and uh, under the GST. Okay. okay, so we will track that story and again look forward to interviewing you when these big decisions happen. But Mr. Agarwal, thank you so much for your time and thank you for sparing your time and thank you for joining us on this episode of Policy and Politics. Viewers, so that was it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>